Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, solve this equation using, um, using our angle relationship. So we have parallel lines, which I just kind of uh, at the last minute made sure I wanted to make sure I told you that we have parallel lines. And we have a transversal. Therefore, we have our angle relationships, alternate interior, alternate exterior, corresponding same side interior. We need to identify what type of angles we have if we can create an equation, because that's exactly what we want to do, create an equation to solve for x. So I go ahead and look at these angle relationships, and I see that they are both exterior of our parallel lines. right? They're not inside. They're outside of our parallel lines. And they're on opposite sides of this transversal. Therefore, they are alternate exterior. And I'm going to write that out so therefore I remember. OK, so they're alternate exterior angles. And alternate exterior angles are equal in measure. So since I know they're equal in measure, now I can create an equation to solve them. So I could say 2x plus 26 equals 3x minus 33. Now, to solve for my missing variable, I just need to get the x by itself. So I'll subtract the 2x on both sides. And I get 26 equals x minus 33. Solve for x, I add 33 to both sides. And I get 59 equals x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve when given alternate exterior angles. Thanks.